What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this series we're going to be making a third person shooter game in Unreal Engine 4. In this episode we're going to be adding a health bar. Uh, and then in later tutorials we'll be adding more advanced functionalities. But in this episode we're just going to be making the simple bog standard health bar. And it's going to be great. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go onto the edit um, menu and we're going to go down into project settings. This is because we need to add um, some input mappings. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add two new action mappings. We're going to have one as heal and one as harm. And I'll explain why we're going to do this later on. I'm going to give these uh, different key values. So for heal, I'm going to do uh, V. And for harm, I'm going to do C. So now we're done with that, we can exit out of that. Next, we're going to go into our third person blueprints folder and we're going to create a user interface. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the content browser and go to user interface and go to widget blueprint. I'm going to name this HUD. So what we're doing is we're adding a HUD to our game and this HUD is going to uh, have the health bar and the, uh, uh, yeah, well, the, the health bar. Uh, and then later on we'll be adding a compass, we'll be adding a mini map and etc. It's going to be awesome. So we're going to go into this, uh, then it's going to bring up this sort of graph here. Um, at the moment it's scaled to 1280 by 720. I'm going to bring this up to 1920 by 1080, but you can set it to whatever the native resolution of your monitor is. I'm doing 1920 by 1080, as that's the native resolution of mine. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a progress bar. And essentially what the health bar is, is a progress bar. There we go. So now that we've got it in, uh, I'm going to change the sizing. So I'm going to set the size X to 500. I'm going to set the size Y to 25. Okay, so now I'm going to anchor it. So what anchoring does is it basically holds the elements relative to the part of the... Um, event, sorry, not the event, but the graph that it's uh, at. So if you were to change the size of the window, uh, it wouldn't look all awful. So uh, go up to here to anchors, and I'm going to do to the bottom left. Now I'm going to zero up both my position X and position Y. And as you can see here, it is a bit off of the graph. So what I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set the position X to, let's say, 50. And the position Y to let's say negative 50. There we go. Now let's see what it looks like when we give it a value. So let's just compile it and save it. So if we're to go down to uh, progress and percent, so let's just do a random value. So that's what it looks like on full, that's what it looks like on zero, that's what it looks like about halfway. Looks great, but we want it to be a half bar. And blue, we don't really associate with health. We associate, well, with health bar, we associate with red don't we? So I'm just going to give it a red colour. I'm not going to do completely red, just do a bit white as well. Looks a bit more pink, but oh well. So that looks alright. But um, let's rename it next so we know what it is. So if we go up to here to the details panel, um, it should automatically be set to a variable, but if it's not, if you've accidentally pressed something, I know we all do it, uh, just make sure it's set to a variable. And we're going to name this progress bar underscore health. Now, down here in the hierarchy, it should appear in bold. That's when you know everything is going to be fine. Because it is. Right, so now what we're going to do is we want to give it some functionality. So if I were to... Um, well, actually, no, we haven't told it to uh, work with uh, our third-person character yet. So we'll do that first. So uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to tell our widget to work with our character. So this is a fairly simple process but we're doing but we'll put it into a function as well just to make things a bit more organized. Right so before we get into that we're just going to tidy up things here. So what I'm going to do is this is our sprint action. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into its own comment. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it that. I'm going to move that over here so we know what we've already done and what we are working on now. Also, we've got a variable here is sprinting. I'm going to give this its own category so things are organised. So I'm going to name this category movement. 
Ooh, I spot movement wrong. Movement. There we go. So now it's in its own sort of category here. We can uh, collapse that. There we go. So now what we want to do is we want to create a event begin play function. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click anywhere on our graph. You can do it absolutely anywhere you want. And we're going to do uh, event begin play. So this is what the uh, game is going to tell the VP to do as soon as the game begins to play. Hence the name. I thought I should explain that. So uh, we're not going to drag anything off of it first. We're going to create a function. So um, to create a function, we need to create some code first. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and do create widget. Not shots up with my spelling, but oh well. So now we're going to um, drag off of the return value here. And we're going to do add to viewport. There we go. So now we are going to drag off of our only player. And we're going to do get player controller. There we go. Now where it says class, we're going to set hub. And we're going to basically highlight all of this. And we're going to right click on anyone you want. And we're going to do collapsed function. We're going to give this function a name. I'm just going to say, it, uh, I'm just going to name it uh, create hub. So we know exactly what it is. There we go. So now we can connect these two up. And we can compile. And it'll automatically save as well because we've got it set to save and compile on success only. You want to want to save when you've uh, messed something up because then you can't go back and undo what you've done wrong. So here we go here. So um, at the moment it's saying that our current health is uh, about halfway. I'm not sure what the half right is because I got it set to uh, 0.5 whatever. So let's put that on zero. Let's see what it does then. It will set it to zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some variables to our uh, health bar. So I mean to our character which can be referenced by the health bar. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add two new variables and these variables are going to be floats. The first variable is going to be current health. Toggle face, no thank you. This is going to be a float so we're just going to change the variable type to a float. And the next one is going to be max health. There we go. And like what we did with the movement, we are going to create its own category here and we're going to call this health system. Going to do the same for max health as well. There we go. So it's under its own little tab here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to tell our progress bar to use this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click bind. So where it says percent, we're going to click bind. We're going to click create binding. And this is going to bring up the graph. You can just drag out of this, but what we're going to want to do first, sorry, excuse me. What we're going to want to, what we're going to want to do first, is we want to break the link from the execution from the get to the return node. We're also going to rename this as well because it's got a bit of a confusing name. Might give you a different name. I don't know why it's giving me such a weird name. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drag off of get progress of our health. It's a weird name. I'm not really sure what that's all about. In fact, let's just name it to uh, get progress bar underscore health. There you go. That's a, well, I suppose it's exactly the same. Thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag off of uh, this ex execution line and we're going to do cast to third person character. Then from here, we're going to uh, do, um, sorry, get player character. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to reference the variables which we've, which we've just made here uh, in our HUD. And we are going to drag off of the execution from here into our return node, but we're not done just yet. So from our third person character, we're going to drag off of here and do current health. 
and we're also going to want to get our maximum health. Get max health. There we go. And because these are floats, we're going to want to do some float division. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the division operator, and that's the slash. So that's float by float. There we go. And we're just going to add those two together. And we're going to drag that into the return node. Tidy it up a bit. So that is done. We're just going to click compile and save on that. So now, um, if we were to go back into our third person character, we want to give our variables some value. So at the moment, the current and max health are currently at zero. So if I were to play, it would be zero. So we're going to set those both to one. So now if we're to play now, it would be on full health. But this isn't really demonstrating the health bar going up and down. So what we're going to do is we are going to add some um, functionality from the key bindings which we made earlier. Sorry, the action mappings which we made earlier. So we're going to do, um, so we're going to right click off of the um, third person character event graph. And we're going to do um, a heart. And we're also going to get the uh, heal as well. There we go. And this is basically getting our current health value and taking away a certain amount and updating it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag off of uh, pressed. In fact, we're going to get our current health and we're going to set that. And we're going to drag the execution pin from pressed into the set current health. Now what we're going to want to do is get our current health and we're going to get that. And we're going to want to do some um, maths with the um, current health. We're going to want to take away a certain amount. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do the takeaway operator, well the subtract operator. We're going to do float takeaway float. And we're going to do um, 0 0.1. So that's going to take away 0 0.1. There we go. And we're going to want to do the exact same for the heal as well. Part of from, instead of taking away, we want to be adding. So uh, what we have here is we want to change this operator from subtract to uh, addition. So we're going to do the addition operator, float plus float. And we're going to want to add 0 0.1. And we're going to drag that into the return value. Well, it's not a return value, it's the uh, operator. I'm not sure that's looking a bit different. There we go. Okay, good. I'm going to click compile and save. And, we, and then when we uh, go on to that, so if you were to press the um, keys which you binded with the action mappings, it'll go down and to go up. Isn't that great? Looks awesome. Okay, so. Um, now we want to add some numbers to um, the health bar as well. So what I'm going to do is down here at the bottom is I'm going to add two bits of text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add text block. I'm just going to make sure that it all, all lines up. But let's just, uh, there we go. So now we're going to name this, um, sorry, we're going to give this the content of health. There we go. And next we're going to add in another one, and this one is going to be binded with the number which is currently set as the current health. So let's just make sure that it looks all nice, there we go, that looks cool. And I'm going to get rid of the text in here, because it's not going to have anything in it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the text here, and we're going to click bind. And when we do bind we're going to set the function, so get progress bar underscore health. So this is automatically going to convert this into the float value. So if we're to click play, it's going to say the health is one. And if we're to uh, do harming, it's going to update it as so. So that's at one. Now it's at zero. Now you may notice if you keep on pressing it, it's going to go down into the negatives. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to fix that later on when we do our whole finishing touches to make everything all refined and lovely. 
because only the best, really. I'm also going to fix this as well. The jumping is completely uh, funky. But there we go. So, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like the video. That uh, would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I uh, will see you in the next one.